If you have an idea for an app, then these tools will take you from prompt to app store almost without touching code. Let's see how AI and Expo is making app development ridiculously easy. Imagine this. You have an idea for an app. A few years ago, turning that idea into something real meant weeks or months of coding, debugging, and figuring out the App Store submission process, which can still be a myth. But what if I told you that today you could go from a simple text prompt to a real working mobile app and even web app in under 60 seconds? Hey, what's up? This is Simon from Galaxies.dev, your platform for quickly learning React Native and Expo. This new way of building and shipping mobile apps is exactly what I'm showing you today. We're using Expo and the new features from Bolt.new to generate, preview and start building an app all without having to write actual code. Let's check it out. So this is where the magic happens. Go to Bolt.new and you can now create native mobile apps. This will use the Expo framework, which is a way to build cross-platform apps with React Native for iOS. Was Android and even the web. Simply put in a prompt like this one, build a mobile app for a yoga studio in which users can browse a catalog of courses, go through lessons of a course and have their own profile tab. You can then also enhance the prompt, but I intentionally want to go with this really basic prompt to show you how the generation works. This is an AI agent that will spin up a web container using Stackblitz. This is actually super interesting, especially for seasoned React Native developers, because we will soon be able to edit our React Native code in a web environment without having a local editor. So you can quickly share a StackBlitz link to your application and then you can preview it on your device. And for everyone else who just wants to ship an application, this means you can refine your code here with the AI editor, let it write the code, you can change the code, of course, if you feel comfortable. And in a matter of minutes and probably even a matter of seconds, we will be able to see this on our device. Now, once the agent is finished with your application, the real magic begins. So here is a preview for our mobile device. This is now using an application called Expo Go and you need to install this on your device. Doesn't matter if it's iOS or Android, simply install it, bring up your camera. You can then simply scan that code and open your app in Expo Go in a few seconds. This generates and shows your code, your application here on this actual physical device. And it doesn't matter if it's Android or iOS. And you can also inside here simply open up the web preview. So this should open up a new tab and it shows the web world. This is probably not the best web optimized way. So we have like these tabs and stuff going on here, but it is still impressive to just have it right here. And we also have our course here. So let's check it out. Actually, this works really flawless and it looks really good. It includes nice colors. We can navigate around. Okay, here and there, there's an icon missing, but probably you can change that quite easily. And it's a great starting point for your application. Wow, that looks actually better than all the applications I have built. Now, at this point, you have multiple options how you can continue. First, you could simply refine your application with the AI agent to make the icons better, change colors, add new pages, and just entirely build out your application. You can also include a backend, so you can quickly connect to something called Superbase, which is a great choice for your backend, or you could deploy this directly to the web or even an app store, which would simply open up the EAS Expo documentation. More on that on a, in a sec. For the moment, just let's recap. We have Bolt.new, which uh, can generate our application. This is then using Expo Go, which is the tool I've just shown you here on our device. And from Bolt.new, we can also export this to local code. And our local code can just as that also use the Expo Go application. However, if you now want to go to the actual App Store, there's another tool that we should talk about. So if you want to go to the App Store uh, or to the web, you should use something like Expo EAS to build your application. So let's try this out. Simply export your code and then you can open it locally. What if you want to customize and ship your actual app? Well, with our local code, we can now simply install here some dependencies. This is using a terminal and it basically installed some libraries that your application is using in the background. 
Don't be afraid, this process of running npm install might take a couple of seconds. Actually, that was quite fast today. I'm using the cursor AI editor, which is really great at editing your code, but you don't really need to edit it. You can also just get started by running npx expo, and that will, just like in the web container, bring up the local preview of your application. So now you could scan that QR code again, and your application would be connected to your local instance instead of the one previously used. So if I bring this up, my application should load in Expo Go and I have taken it from the AI agent to my local environment and I can just directly dive into this. If you now understand a bit of code, if you have maybe taken a tutorial or watched some of my videos, you know that at some point you could probably change uh, something in here, uh, whatever you wanna do, let's call this one. I will just change the color of this tab bar icon down here, hit save, and you notice that instantly your app will update. So if you really want out to build out your application, locally editing your code which might be a requirement in the end. Now it's funny how you can even without understanding your code and what's going on in your project, you could bring this app to life. You could now connect to EAS. So you could run something like NPX EAS in it and that will help you to connect to the Expo application services. I would like to set up a project, so I'm gonna hit yes. By the way, if you don't have an account, go to expo.dev and simply create your account. We now have this application and from here on, you could build out your iOS and Android app in the cloud. I highly recommend to check out the video from Expo, from Beto, to build an app and deploy it with expo.new. Uh, he has uh, covered everything, especially how you initialize this with EAS and then how you deploy this both to the web, which is actually done really, really fast, or how you can deploy an iOS build with using EAS build. EAS is truly a magical piece in this workflow because it will basically upload your code to the Expo servers and they will build your app and then they can even directly ship it to the iOS App Store program and also the Google Play Store so you can publish and submit your application to the real stores. By the way, another way that just came up weeks ago is using Replit to create a mobile app. So Replit is this super popular company that you might have used before to write your code and they had a great video explaining exactly this. So you can even on your device with the Replit app built inside the Replit app, which I think is also built with React Native, build your own app. So it's like a bit of inception going on there and you can go through this video. I will link it below. Now, I know that I'm skipping over a couple of steps here to actually submit our app, which Beto covered in his video, especially setting up your iOS and Android developer accounts, uh, running the build and then generating some certificates. That is stuff for another video. And if you wanna see me dive more into Bold or Replit and go the whole chain, let me know in the comments. And also probably what you're struggling with the most in terms of these tools and how I could help you to go from idea to app store. Now, AI generated code is cool, but what if you want to ship a truly great app? You need to understand what's happening. What are the limitations of Expo Go? How can I fix React Native bugs locally if AI gets stuck or hallucinates once again? How do I go the full way from app to publishing or updating it in the future? This is usually where it's not enough to know about AI tools and this is where galaxies.dev helps. Learn how Expo, React Native and EAS work, understand technologies like Expo Router or API routes or React Server components and go beyond just generating apps and build real skills with our coaching and courses. This is your natural next step if you want to actually make money by building out your app ideas. And the next step for AI, it's quite interesting because Expo mentioned the next step in this generation is bringing EAS into bold. Once that happens, you'll be able to build, submit and deploy your apps in a single seamless motion in bold. I'm certainly looking forward to seeing that part become easier as well. AI is changing how we build apps, but knowing how it all works will always give you a massive edge. It's clear at this point that almost every AI tool, including popular companies like Replit, are betting on React Native and Expo. So if you want to actually understand and build great apps, check out galaxies.dev and our new Zero to Hero courses to take your AI apps to the next level. And with the code AI, you can currently get 20% off on your first three months. Go to galaxies.dev, use code AI at checkout and start 
shipping epic AI apps. Subscribe, like and let me know in the comments what app would you generate first. To see how I personally combine AI tools, check out this video which also includes a database, app design and even AI editors and my workflow. I'll catch you in the next one and until then, happy coding, Simon.